Okay, so today we're going to be doing section 4.5, solving polynomial equations. Let's do a little bit of review. Here's one thing you guys need to know. In the directions, when it says find the solutions, that is the same exact thing as finding the roots, which is the same exact thing as finding the zeros, which is the same exact thing as finding the x-intercepts. It's going to be worded differently each time, so please make sure that you know that all of those are the same. Let's do another review. Let's do one that you guys are familiar with. Okay, quadratic. How do I find the roots? Factor it. Okay, so what am I going to factor? Okay, double bubble, right? Go ahead. X minus 1. Very good. Okay, so what are my solutions? Seven. 7 and 1. What does that mean? My solutions are 7 and 1. Here's what it means. If I were to graph it, and each of these you're going to have to do a sketch on, you already know your quadratics. My solutions are 7 and 1. That means these are the x-intercepts. That means here it's going to cross, this graph is going to cross where? Okay, 1. And yes, you have to label your points. 1, 0. And 7, 0. Now, what does it look like? Up or down? Up. Are they facing the same direction or are they facing different directions? Same for the end behavior. Why does end behavior have the same direction? Because it's an even function. Very good. So you can sketch it. Now, there's one more point that you can do. Which is it? The y intercept. So what's the y intercept? Seven. It's always this last number. Okay, so it's seven. So we can kind of sketch just roughly what this looks like. Okay, we're going to do monitoring progress one. It's on page 191 in your book. 4x to the fourth minus 40x squared plus 36 equals zero. Okay, first step. Greatest common factor, what is it? Four. Okay, what's left? x to the fourth. 10x squared plus 9. Okay, negative 9 and negative 1. And what's the first term? X squared. Very good. Ha! Huh. But wait! There's more. What are these? Dots problems. One dots, two dots. What is it? Two dot problems. Very good. So... Double buble four times here. This is x minus x minus three, x plus three, x minus one, x plus one equals zero. Okay, the roots. This first one, since there's no variable in there, we could just ignore it. So we ignore that. So what are my roots? 3, negative 3, 1, negative 1. Very good. If I were to sketch this, which we're all going to sketch it, it crosses at 1, negative 1, negative 1 and 1, oops. It crosses at negative 3 and 3. And what does the end behavior look like? Same direction, very good, because it's even. And which direction, up or down? Up, so you know from here to here, it goes here. Now, does it bounce anywhere? Are there any doubles? No. 
there's no doubles. So I do know my y-intercept. What's my y-intercept? 36. So let's just pretend that my graph is all the way up to 36. So now you can graph this. Take a look. You know it's going to go through it because it's only appearing once. So it goes through it. Somewhere here it's going to go back up. It will cross here at 36. It will go through this and it will come back up. Very, very rough sketch. Here we are with monitoring progress 3, f of x equals 3x to the 4th minus 6x squared plus 3. It asks you to find the zeros. Okay, let's have it equal 0. I like to have my 0 on the other side, doesn't matter. Okay, first step, GCF, 3, x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. Okay, should be able to recognize this. What is it? What are my signs? Start there. Negative, negative. negative. You need to have a 1 here, so this is? One, and the ones in front are x squared. Oh, but wait. What kind of problem is this? Dots. So, I like to write everything out. You don't have to, as in, we can clean it up in a second. Okay, my roots. So if I were to simplify this completely, it would look like this. That's just cleaning it up. Okay, so what are my roots? X is going to be 1 and negative. negative 1. But you have to remember there's two of each of those. Okay, so let's do our little graph here. At negative 1 and at 1. Okay, what's my end behavior both of them going up good so you know they both go up okay what is my y-intercept three now does it go through one or is it gonna bounce off of one it's gonna bounce off of it touch it go back up touch this one go back up that's it, rough sketch.